Welcome to Bot Sailor. What if we told you that, you could now send WhatsApp messages to your Facebook Messenger subscribers, by integrating Chat Pion with Bot Sailor? Yes, that's what Bot Sailor has come up with. Today in this video, I am going to show you how to integrate Chat Pion with Bot Sailor. Now, you can send WhatsApp messages to your Messenger subscribers of Chat Pion, who provide phone number through quick reply, user input flow, or web view form. And when we do that, the Messenger subscribers will also become WhatsApp subscribers. I will walk you through the entire procedure. These are the steps we'll follow in this video to achieve a successful chat Pion and Bot Sailor integration. First, we will have to collect phone numbers by using Chat Pion's Quick Reply, or User Input Flow, on Facebook Messenger. We have already created a bot to collect phone numbers by using a quick reply. You can also use user input flow or a web view form to collect phone numbers. Now, go to Bot Sailor and then go to Webhook Workflow. Click on the Create button. Just give a name to your workflow. Then, select the WhatsApp bot account from which you want to send the message. Select a message template. You can choose from your previous message templates or create a new one. To create a message template, we need to go to the bot manager. Let's open this in a new tab. Go to Message Template and then click on the Create button. Give a name for the template. Then, write the message body. We can also add a button with the text message. For instance, I am adding a quick reply button. Put the button text and click on the Save button. Let's check the status. Yes, the template has been approved by WhatsApp. As we have added a quick reply with this message template, we will create a post back for the quick reply. Let's go to post back and click on the create button. Give a name for the post back. Then, add a reply with it. Now, let's go back to Bot Sailor. Just refresh it once. Select the message template we have just created. Finally, click on the Create Workflow. This will generate a webhook callback URL. Copy the URL. We will have to add this to Chat Pion. Let's go to Chat Pion. Click on the API channels. Then, go to JSON API Connector. Click on New Connection. Give a name and select the Facebook page. Paste the webhook URL here. Here we need to select the fields for the webhook trigger. I am selecting phone number. If you collect phone numbers by using user input flow and a web view form, then select them accordingly. Then, select which data you want to send through the webhook. I am selecting the first name, last name, and phone number. Then, save it. Now, from the Bot Sailor webhook workflow, click on Capture Webhook Response. It will wait for a data sample before mapping the data. We must provide a sample of the data. Let's go to the Facebook page, where we have created a bot by using Chat Pion to collect phone numbers. Let's provide a sample data. Now go back to Bot Sailor and wait while it captures the data. Yes, we can see the sample data here. This is the raw data. Now, we need to map the webhook response with some variable for sending WhatsApp message. So, this is the phone number to which we will send the message. Select the phone number. To send a WhatsApp message, we need numbers without a plus sign. But the number has a plus sign. To remove the plus sign from the phone number, we will use a formatter. Click on the new button to create a formatter. Give a name for the formatter. Select the option from the drop-down list. I have selected trim left. Just add the plus sign on the field to trim it from the phone number. Save the formatter. Now, select the formatter. 
Then, there is a username. In WhatsApp, we need to use the first name and last name in a single string, as a username. So, we will concat the first and last names, to create a username. Let's select the first name and create a formatter. From the action, select concat write. So, it will concat write with a white space. Let's add white space as a parameter value. Just copy this and paste it on the glue field. In the concat field, put last name. Save the formatter. Then, select the formatter from the list. Now, let's select the post back for the message template's quick reply button. Remember, we had added a quick reply button, on the message template? Here comes the option to add a delay time for sending the message. It must be used with minutes. For example, if we want to send the message after 2 hours, we will have to use 120 minutes. For now, we are not using any delay time. We can also add conditions to send message. For that, we need to create rules. We are not using that option for this instance. But if you need, you can create rules. Finally, click on the Save Workflow button to save the workflow. Now, let's test by providing a phone number on Facebook Messenger. Let's check the report on the bot sailor. Yes, it's in pending status, it must send the message within few seconds. Please wait for a while, and check back. Yes, the message has just been received on WhatsApp. If we go to the bot sailor's live chat, we will see that the message is sent from the bot sailor's WhatsApp bot account. So, this is how you can integrate chat Pion with bot sailor, to send WhatsApp messages to your Facebook Messenger subscribers. That's all for today. Thank you for watching the video.